Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, transparency should be the cornerstone of every contract, says DIC RSP at the launch of new HR initiative, Samarth, towards managing contract effectively. Yoga practice and demonstration sessions organized by Sale Rolkila Steel Plant as a countdown yoga program under Ministry of Steel. Annual sports prize distribution function held at Deepika Ispath Siksha Sadhan, the RSP's free school for underprivileged. And in our Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasa series, today's personality is Sri Pramod Pati. Now, the news in detail. Transparency should be the cornerstone of every contract, said Mr. Atanu Bhumek, director in charge, Rorkila Steel Plant, RSP, at the launching of the new HR initiative, Samarth, towards managing contract effectively at HRD Centre on 21st April. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, Ms. Rajeshree Banerjee, CGM, HRD, and other senior officers of the plant. Around 40 executives in the level of E1 to E7 took part in the program. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Bhumik said that contracts and agreements are an integral part of an industry. The Samarth initiative would help in cost control, avoid errors, loss of time, improve productivity, and streamline the entire process of contract management, he added. Mr. Suryavanshi commended the efforts of HRD to take up the matter of contract management and expressed hope that it would reap huge benefits for the plant. At the outset, Ms. Rajshree Banerjee delivered the welcome address while Mr. H. Pati GM HRD proposed a formal word of thanks. The inaugural session was followed by technical sessions in which the focus was on contract sales expectations and pitfalls, statutory compliance with regard to contract labor, budgetary provisions, routes, and common financial pitfalls and vigilance perspective. Each of the sessions was supplemented with case studies for better internalization. The sessions were conducted by Mr. Debdatta Satpati, GM in charge CCW, Mr. Avinash, senior manager, and Ms. Sangeeta M. Sindur, both managers from Personal Contract Labor Cell. Mr. Ashwini Sahu, GM FNA, and Mr. A.K. Biswal, AGM Vigilance. The program was coordinated by Mr. L. Marandi, manager HRD. Yoga practice and demonstration sessions were organized at different units and community centers of sale, Rorkila Steel Plant on 23rd April as a part of Central Public Sector Enterprises Yoga Day Countdown Program under Ministry of Steel. A yoga practice and demonstration session was organized at the Peace Center of ED Works building. It was attended by Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, and other senior officers of the plant. Special yoga programs were organized at the yoga centers run at community centers of RSP across the township. The session was conducted by the yoga teachers of RSP's yoga centers. Similar program was held at RSP run schools. An annual sports prize distribution function was organized at Deepika Ispat Siksha Sadhan, Sector 18, a school for the underprivileged set up by Sale Rorkila Steel Plant and managed by Deepika Mahila Sangati, a leading philanthropic organization of Rorkila on 22nd April 2022. Mrs. Seema Dev Bhumik, President Deepika Mahila Sangati, was the chief guest of the function. Mrs. Indrani Kundu and Mrs. Harshala Suryavanshi, both Vice Presidents of DMS, were the guests of honor. Present on the occasion were Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM in charge CSR, Mr. Dushman Pradhan, DGM CSR, Ms. Namita Mahapatra, Secretary DMS, Governing Body Members of DMS, Headmaster, Teachers, Students, and Staff of the Institution. The dignitaries presented the prizes to the winners of various sports events conducted earlier. 
the different sports activities included frog race, sack race, three-legged race, skipping, puchi, javelin throw, shot put, arithmetic race, 50 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters race, which were held for different classes ranging from class 1 to class 10. Earlier, a grand welcome was accorded to the President DMS on her maiden visit to the school by the scout and guide students through color and the band party. As a part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasa celebrations, Sail Rorkla Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Odisha and today's personality is Sri Pramod Pati. Born in 1932, Sri Pramod Pati was a maverick in the field of cinema. After graduating from Utkal University in 1950, Sri Pati earned a diploma from SG Polytechnic Bangalore. During this period, he made 14 films in three years as a cinematographer, scriptwriter and editor. He was awarded a Government of India Fellowship to study puppet animation at FAMU in Prague, Czechoslovakia under Jiri Burdeka, Edward Hoffman and Jiri Tranka. Returning to India, he joined Films Division Mumbai as head of its animation unit in 1959 and there he began making the first Indian animation film. Sri Pati was best known for his experimental work in animation and is regarded as the father of Indian animation films. He left for his heavenly abode in the year 1975. That's all for the news today. Namaskar.